Welcome back to the bear cave. Um, I'm going to do a quick little video on something else I got for the bear cave. They got these little lock handles out here. So, you know, it's kind of nice to go lock your stuff up, make sure it's nice and secure. But what happens if you go hiking and all of a sudden you're in the middle of the woods and something falls out of your pocket and you're sitting there hunting and waiting for a deer to come by and sit on a stump something falls out of your pocket key does whatnot all of a sudden you're in the middle of the woods you lose your keys you go back to the trailer all the way back to your trailer you don't know where your keys are how do you get in well i mean there's ways to break into these things that aren't too hard but just for the convenience factor i went out and i done got me one of these rv lock keyless handles now online, I got this from Amazon for $149,999 because you know how they like to do 9999 stuff. And it says you got to have right hand door, right? So that's all I have. This is your left hand, right? So your left hand makes an L, right? And then that's the right hand. So you want to make sure you get the right door handle thing. Now I haven't read the directions on this thing at all or anything, but it's advertised as a 10 minute install. So it comes with a little key fob. 10 minutes see right there 10 minute easy install we're gonna see if we can beat that time okay and see if anybody's got a stopwatch wireless uh, uh unlock uh, wireless lock and unlock yep, with a key little key fob there keypad fits most rv trailers okay so i haven't really opened this thing up and looked at it yet i just popped it open to make sure it was in there and there wasn't a brick or anything like that so it looks like it comes with some kind of directions you know you don't read those Comes with question, comments, hotline. Ooh, we can call a hotline here and get some technical support. That's always nice to have. What's this here? Uh, my key number is okay. Well, guess we'll have to find some keys to write down a number there and stick that somewhere in case we lose the keys. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, ten percent off. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, if you do a review and they like your review. You get five hundred dollars of the pick your review or something like that. I'm not even reading the whole thing. Whatever. Yep. That'll ever happen. And this is it. I'm doing this in the ten minutes and one handle. That's what my goal is. Okay, now look at that thing. It don't look too hard to figure out. Okay, you got the handle, you got the keypad, you got the little lock thing here, so you got a little extra case you need to do what we do. Where's the keys at? We got the key fob. Where's the keys at? Uh, oh, there's the keys zip tied right there. Alright, 10 minutes. Anybody got a stopwatch? Let's go. Alright, so we took this. So this is now we're reading directions. We're just doing this thing. Let's go ahead and take these screws out right here. Oof, don't drop them on the ground. Yeah, time about 10 minutes. Alright, find the one we dropped on the ground over here real quick. Let's set this stuff aside. Something tells me we'll probably need it again. Alright. Uh, so right there. Pop this One handed, folks. One handed. Let's prop this door open so we ain't fight all the time. Okay, so I took out the four screws. You gotta figure out how this little lever thing here comes on here. That's what happens when you don't read the directions.
Looks like it's just pressure fitting on. Huh? So we need to grab another screwdriver here. Work on all this stuff over here too right now. Yeah, a little screwdriver, that thing just popped right out with the little red lip. The little red handle on it, All right? Okay. Put that down there. Just basically pull it on and it came right off. It just pressure fits right there. And all it does. Take this one. I'll pull it from the back here, kind of slide it out, kind of gentle. Don't mess anything up. See where we're hanging up there on the inside? Looks like that little. There we go. That little nubby hole thing right there is kind of holding it up a little bit. Kind of, kind of twist it through. Okay, all one's out. All right, all one's out. Little plastic piece in there. All one's out. Got a hole on the trailer. They really cut that hole nice. See, Terry Town. They have the ability to cut a hole in the door like that, but they can't build nice trailers. Shit. I'm pretty sure when we put this piece in first, just like we took the other one out. So, start feeding it on in. Gotta use a little pressure on it to kind of get going in. I was feeling we need to get this wire thing in there too fast for too long. A little wire pigtail thing. Push that on through there. One handed, y'all. One handed. Talk about some talent. See how it lines up a little bit here. Yeah, I think once we put on that plate back on, those screws back in, it'll line up pretty decent. I don't know if that little plastic piece in there is hindering or something. So. There we go. A little force. A little oomph. A little oomph, oomph. All right, now we took this piece out right here. Remember this little piece? Let's do slot that little sucker back on it. Kind of see if it gets it straightened up in there. Started in there. Line it up. Kind of pulls it forward. Gotta get it. Click, click, black clock. Click, click, black clock. All right. Like we just need to throw that slap on that back plate. Yeah, 
the back plate. Now the curious thing is, comes with screws. Well, the ones that pulled out of the other flat top thing. Yep. So we don't really want to use the screws to come the cam with. They're more of a machine little pointy screw. So let's open that bag up. How's that? How am I doing on time? Anybody got that stopwatch going? So we need these four screws here. Three, four. Got to plug in a little wire wire here. Line up the red knobby knob. Okay, plug in the wire. Part is a little tricky one handed. Thing goes beep. Got a little on off switch right there. I'm gonna have to read that thing. Alright, so I'm pretty sure. Gonna line up. Line up the red. I think we do latch. Probably could slide us right into place. Once we get that sucker on, no, kind of got to get the wires pushed in there. A little better what I'm doing. A lot of wire, not a lot of room. See that wire right out there? Why, why, not a lot of room. Try feeding a little different way. There we go. There we go, that sucker. All I did was, see I flipped it over. So I flip, flip. So I flip, flip, and it's pushing up against itself. Now if we line up the little pin sticking out with the little red knob or do's. Oh, this thing is a part of pain. Okay, so that's just got to pull her. She's kind of in the way. Get a screw in the top over here. Huh. Got the screw on the ground. It's almost like that little piece, that little core piece is holding me up. Getting it in there. Or it'll stay. So they didn't quite allow enough room for that.
I done fart with it a bit. Hold that in the face. Alright, so got it on. I had a little battle with it because the little wires inside you gotta kind of force them back and stuff. So cheating right now. I know I said I was gonna do it one handed. Sorry y'all, I had to cheat a little bit. I had to use my hand to get those screws and hold that thing together, but almost one-handed installation. Oh, my little door guard thing and my bob were just bent. But let's see here. Must be locked on the inside. Nope. Nope, something ain't right here. Huh, I'm gonna have to loosen that up, see what's going on here. Top knot screw. I hate when I drop a screw and then lose and can't find it nowhere. It means it's gonna go on a tire, you know what I'm all saying? All right, somebody's tire. <sighs> Screw. You're done to the last screws in. Alright, time. I think it's installed. Let's look at that. Okay, yeah. The latch of works there. Yeah, a little latch of works there. Yeah, let's close this thing up. See, that's the only thing I don't like about it. That little inside latch feels a little chintzy. Other than that, I mean, it looks like it works good. It's a new tight. Everything lines up. Didn't have to cut nothing, mold nothing, nothing like that. I'd give this thing a 4 out of 4. Let's see how it does as far as time and programming and everything like that. I'll do another video on that, but I want to keep it short. Well, thanks for watching the video at the Bear Cave. Remember, be good, love your mama, love your country, and America!